Good morning, Dr. Lebo. Lebo Gino, 37 year old from Detroit, from Detroit, Michigan, flies to me for my gynecomastia surgery and beyond. We're doing everything today. We're doing neck to nuts. We're doing the pecs, the abdomen, the midline, the alba, the V to P, etching and defining the pectoralis major muscle, the lats back here, the serratus muscle, the six pack abdomen, the V to P, the FUPA. Uh, stealth incisions, armpit, nipple, uh, belly button, and inside the groin. We're going to turn them over and do the mid and lower back. Save the volume up here. Actually, we may come back later and do the, 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 the traps and the arms. But today we're going to do from the lats down, mid and lower back. Stealth incisions uh, by the uh, uh, butt crease and in the middle to really get this and, 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 and uh, um, uh, etch his gluteus muscles to make him naturally, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 like a soccer butt, but n naturally done. Turn him back here, local anesthesia. Many, many hours. It's 7.30 now, 8 o'clock now. We're going to be done by about 3. Um, let's go. Yesterday. All right, list appearance. So now we're just framing. So the midline here. The lateral black going way down here. That's the lateral black there. Frame that. Keep the volume up there. That's over here. We pump you up. I am Hans. And I am Franz, and we just want to pump you up. All right, now. So we're all numbed up. So now we are going to laser. And he's very specific with what he wants. So right here. Yeah. Lift up there. Give me a little nice shot there. So right here, what I'm doing now, so three minutes, um, is I'm melting what I call this negative space of Hoyt. If you see the one that really taught me, you know, how to, how to um, contour a male, a male chest and body. And there's all about lines and shadows. So lines being the, the, the line of the lats, the line of the pecs, the line of the serratus, the line of the six pack, the line of the midline, linea alba, the semi lunaris, and then shadows uh, between them, because that's what the body 
you know, hits. The body hits. Uh, when light hits it, it shows the dynamics. That's why we put some fat grafts in where we want. We extract fat where we don't want it, and we leave fat where we want to maintain volume. Eventually, we're going to go from the groin up to meat. So again, get this semi-lunaris action here. Leave that in there. Anything, you know, you can, you've been here enough, you know how deep, you know where the muscles are, you know where the kidneys are, you know where the bowel is, you know, you kind of, you know, not to say that doctors have not made mistakes and perforated certain things, uh, but with experience, they've done, they've done studies where, are you alright? Any pain? Good. Where, they group surgeons into three, three um, groups. One that does a lot of them, one that does medium amount, and one that does rarely. And the complication rate for the people who do rarely is uh, like double. Two. Yes, and yet, you know, I'm gonna do two on this side. Um, it's double. The doctors who that do do rare rare procedures, yeah. Like and, and I think they did studies like difficult things like parathyroidectomies and you know stuff of that nature. Smart hands, always knowing where I am, always feeling for the tip and knowing the anatomy and how far to go down. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not I'm not heading this probe, you know, you know, 45 degree angle. I'm just following the lines of the body. So I know where I am. And I know how to protect him and me from injury. Rim at the costal margin there, don't go under it. Feel where it is, don't go above it. Got it. 30 seconds for the one minute and 30 seconds. Got it. Make sure we go above it, but always know. And what's great about local anesthesia, in my mind, it's safer, especially in lipo, because you get feedback. Yeah. If I'm, if I stab his rib, I'm gonna, you know, it's a different nerve. Right. I'm gonna say he's going to, oh, and I say, oh shit, I gotta back out. If, got it. So if somebody is. Um, uh, Under general, they don't have that same feedback. Okay, give me another minute, so I'll, it'll, it'll be two per side. Um, 35 meters. 
Because they can convert an elephant into a dart song. And not a regular dart song. A dart song that never forgets. All right, so here we are. So we're into the negative space here. As you can see, no bleeding. Very pristine and beautiful. This is a 20, this is a four millimeter. I can't even look a little straight there. Yeah. Um, it's a four millimeter Mercedes. Uh, it's not made by Mercedes, it's just got, it's a, it's a triport like the Mercedes emblem, that's what it's called, Mercedes. Um, and it's 40 millimeters long, I'm sorry, centimeters long, and I bent it about 20 degrees to be able to go around his torso like I am. So I can feel with my smart hands, and I'm going around the lats to etch. And also be aggressive, because now I'm pointing it down into the armpits. And I'm getting this beautiful negative space here. Because with me, it's all about definition. So I'm etching the lats right here. Getting around here. Good. And this is a micro air. This is the best on the market, in my, in my opinion. Now I'm pointing the 20 degrees up on his rib because he's got kind of like a you know, like a barrel chest a tiny bit. You know, it's kind of up there, so you wanna you wanna do it so it's forming to the form of his chest. And that also keeps me out of trouble. Now I'm going into the space between the the lateral likes. And I'm always feeling where I am down by the hip. Every once in a while I may bang his hip bone a little bit. That's normal. You may say, oops, that's just a bone. But again, there's patient feedback. So if I'm hitting a rib, and I'm going a little too aggressive, you'll say, Doc, I feel that, and I back off. That's perfect. And that's why I like, love doing it on the local. Now you can see it's, that's about, it's about 20 degrees. I do have a 30 degree one. I do have a reverse bend one. If I really have a barrel chest, I can do reverse bend so I don't have to, somebody with like pectus escavatum or something. I can, get around it in different ways. Beautiful, now come over here, almost like you're gonna dislocate your shoulder. And this way I can see that lag. And also, with me, I'm getting the combination of the superficial, you know, there's different layers of fat in the human body. There's a superficial fat and there's a deep layer of fat. You gotta get that deep layer of fat out. If you don't, people get fat and they and they they get fat. <laughs> I want the fat gone. Is after puberty or after the mid twenties, I should say better. You don't pr produce more fat cells. They're gone. You don't, you don't build them up anymore. You don't produce new ones. You, you get fat by each fat cell shrinking and expanding as per the amount of shit you eat. Basically. Right, so, that's a medical term. We're working on this right side. So now I'm going down to his groin and I'm gonna etch the lower uh, semilunaris. And with my curved cannula, as such, 
I can now get to the lats. Just around the sides. If I had a straight tan heel, I'll be poking out of the skin. But with the curved ones, and I, and I purposely did about 20 degrees. It's just perfect. You know, I haven't measured it, but it's just, it's just kind of what I formed. And now I'm getting around the hip bone. So I want to, you know, I want to maintain that nice volume of the hip bone. It helps to elongate its legs. I want to feminize them, uh, but that's only when we do back grafting in the, in the lateral butt. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that. So we won't be feminizing in any way, shape, or form. But I, I find guys just want to, you know, a, a, a snatched weight. Yeah. Just like the girls these days. A little 20 degree I can do here and then I can turn it. So you go up, over the chest, over the midline to the sternum here, and then flip it over, and then slow down as I wanna, we're gonna do some pectoral lipo filling, so I wanna get that nice male cleavage here. That's way up, my friend. Like the the so I can go way up to his neck, and Thank get you, that so that I can, have some adherence of the of the skin to the sternum. Fill that up; it'll yeah. pop like a monster. And I'll figure out how much I'm going to put in once we're done. He wants to be pretty dynamic, so that means at least 200. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> I got it. But again, I I'm, I got to see how much quality fat I get. Sure. All right, so now I'm in the belly button, and again, I can go here, I can... I like to hit my lines in a parallel and then a horizontal direction, so I can really define that beautifully. and then turn it and get to the serratus muscles, just like that. So, we're going to do 1.5. Um, no. Alright guys, so, uh, uh, we're almost done with the front. We're doing now we're moving on powered by J Plasma. Um, this is helium gas with a radio frequency spark at the end. Perfect. Go in my same stealth incisions. Now it's important for this you gotta undermine. This is not a good tool if it's like little areas that you haven't really lipoed a lot. This needs to be lipoed a lot and opened up so this helium gas and freely disperse. If it's like areas that like in the upper back and you really didn't lipo much, you just want to do it, there's other technologies like body type which would be better for you. Um, I like this better because it just works for me. Uh, because when I do lipo, I do it very aggressively and very uh, extensively. Um, but I love the way this works. <laughs> um, I also call it the sweeper because it, it, if there's any little goblets of fat underneath the skin, um, it'll just kind of melt that. But this is helium gas with a radio frequency spark at the end, RF. So it, it heats it up to 85 degrees centigrade. I'm sorry, uh, so yes, yeah, centigrade, but, but quickly, quickly. It's not like a prolonged heat. To, and the helium gas acts as like a, like a cold, um, and if you know about solids, liquids, gases, plasma is a step above gas. And that's what this does, it's, it's, it's plasma. But they stop using it just thinking of blood plasma. Plasma is really a, a, a state of gas. So we're doing 1.5. Okay, so I'm going to do
going to do some pectoral lipo filling, all right? Uh, go into the same stealth incision. Hit that pectoralis major muscle right there. Get in it. Unlike a booty of a female, the, the, the pectoralis muscle of a male is very safe to get into. Uh, even the booty of the male is very safe if they don't have that, that, that blood vessel, the veins that the women do. And uh, then you can get um, fat embolus and stuff of that nature. Just don't have that. So this is very safe. Uh, and this is just an amazing. Levo, Levo Gyno just finished up his front. We'll show you the back in a minute. We did it all. We did Vaser, high definition power system, lipo sculpture. Uh, we did lipo filling. We did the six pack abdomen, V to P, uh, where we did the two, four, and six, the midline linea alba, the semi lunaris. Drains are in and stealth incisions in the belly button and the groin. We also have stealth incisions in the uh, armpit and by the nipple itself. We did the serratus muscles, look at the snatched waist, this V to P coming here. It's all about lines and shadows, about muscle, the central uh, uh, box. Now it's sucking your belly, sucking it all the way. Look at that great shape. And he's still swollen and he's just finished the surgery. And we did pectoral lipo filling. We put just over 200 cc's in each pectoralis major muscle to give him a Hercules athletic uh, uh, chest uh, that'll last forever. He'll eat clean, exercise, uh, build muscle and he'll only enhance what I um, I gave him. So if you have gynecomastia, you want Lebo Gyno and beyond, uh, call me, Dr. Lebo, 631-424-0101 or email me at johnsonlebootsmd at gmail.com. Now wait for the back.